Welcome back. Just up here, please. <clears throat> Tender. Ah, come on in. Welcome back. What are you doing? Why are you dressed like that? This. Oh no, this is just your average run-of-the-mill facial recognition technology system. What? Okay, eyes and nose proportions seem to be about right. Are you Joe? Yes, I am. And you are? Collecting biometric data of your face. Oh, and this is your fifth time in this week, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. And scene. Great work. <laughs> now, facial recognition technology isn't just some guy in a weird costume. No, it looks a little bit more like this. So the way automated facial recognition works is that it takes an image that's been captured of you and it uses artificial intelligence to create a set of measurements uh, that detect how far apart features of your face are. And then that model is compared with a stored image of the person that it's being matched to to see whether or not there is a match. Facial recognition can be really useful for all sorts of things, whether it's unlocking your phone or tagging your friends or keeping people safe by controlling who gets on a plane or into big sports stadiums. But it's also controversial. Overseas, we've seen facial recognition technology used to punish people who are protesting against the government or to discriminate against people. And it doesn't always get things right. The technology has been shown not only to not be 100% accurate, it uh, will never be, but also to have biases. So in some cases, the technology has been shown to be less accurate for people with darker skin tones. That means those people are more likely to be falsely identified by the technology. There's also the possibility that biometric data might fall into the wrong hands and be used by criminals to impersonate other people. It's why in Australia, there are special rules about how biometric data is allowed to be collected and stored. Under Australian law, we give biometric data and a, a special protections because it's something called sensitive information. And the reason we do that is that your face is unique to you, so it's really important to you. And if you lose that image, you can't change it. Carly is Australia's privacy commissioner, and it's her job to make sure businesses are respecting people's privacy. Last week, she delivered a report that found the hardware and gardening shop Bunnings breached privacy laws because of its use of facial recognition technology. And while Bunnings isn't the first business to use the tech, Carly says... If you're going to capture biometric information, you need the consent of the people whose images you're capturing. And in this case, they captured hundreds of thousands of people's facial images and they didn't get consent. Bunnings is now asking for a review of the decision, saying that facial recognition was only ever used to keep customers and staff safe by identifying troublemakers, and any data that didn't give them a match was deleted within milliseconds. Either way, facial recognition tech isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and experts say it's up to governments to make sure it's kept in check. We need more rules. We need to be able to decide how we think it should be used. Have conversations, talk to your parents, uh, and talk to your friends about it because it's the kind of thing that deserves a good public conversation.